क्लास 182 और 52 मैकेनिकल एक्चुएटर्स सो हियर द सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी इज मैकेनिकल सो यू कैन हैव देयर मोशन कन्वर्शन और मोशन ट्रांसमिशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल conversion means it can be from linear to rotary or vice versa and transmitters means it can be gear drive linkages belt drive chain drive etc let us see some examples for example say there is a cam and follower ic engines convert reciprocating motion reciprocating hey guys welcome to skill link we've all learned that valves in internal combustion they convert reciprocating motion to rotary and vice versa we can see there here combustion engines are operated by means of a cam and follower mechanism these cams are available in various shapes and sizes and are used based on the requirements in this video we're going to discuss the different types of cams and followers before moving on to the types let's discuss how a cam and follower mechanism works A cam is a mechanical device that is used to achieve the desired reciprocating or translating motion. A cam and follower setup consists of three members. The cam acts as the driving member and the follower acts as the driven member. The third member is the frame which acts as a guide for the follower. The follower is placed on the cam and the profile of the cam is Hello students welcome to my youtube channel mactutes in this video we will discuss the terminology as designed in such a way to achieve the desired motion as the cam rotates its varying cross section makes the follower reciprocate see this is the cam and this is the follower when the cam rotates okay the follower reciprocates you can see this will be reciprocating this is how the mechanism works now let's move on to discuss the types of cams cams can be classified into several types based on their shapes there are radial cams cylindrical cams wedge cams conjugate cams globoidal cams and spherical cams let's see the types one by one The radial cam is simple and is made from a flat plate. The circumference of the cam is designed in such a way as to provide the desired motion. Hence it's also known as a plate or disc cam. In this type, the axis of the cam is perpendicular to the direction of motion of the follower. The next type is the cylindrical cam which is also known as a barrel or drum cam. This cam has a cylindrical shape and there is a groove cut on its surface. The follower follows the path of the groove. In this type, the axis of the cam is parallel to the direction of motion of the follower. The third type is the wedge cam. This type of cam is in the shape of a wedge and here the cam has a sliding motion. Then we have the conjugate cam. This cam is provided with two rollers that are connected to the follower. The rollers constrain the motion of each other and This type of cam is used for noiseless operation. Then we have the globoidal cam. It is similar to the cylindrical cam, but the surface of the cam will be either concave or convex. In this type, the follower oscillates about the fulcrum. And now we have the spherical cam, where the cam is in the shape of a sphere. provided with a groove over which the follower moves here the oscillation of the follower will be perpendicular to the axis of rotation of the sphere 
With this, we have seen the different types of camps. Now, let's move on to the types of followers. The followers can be classified into several types based on their shape, position, and type of motion. When it comes to shape, followers are classified into knife edge follower, roller follower, flat faced follower, and spherical faced follower. Knife edge followers have a pointed end and this setup is simple and compact. But this type of follower encounters more wear. In order to minimize the wear, roller followers are used. Roller followers have a roller at the end of the follower. See here you have roller. And this is called as roller follower. This is a cam and this is the follower. Previously, just now you have seen the knife edge follower. This was knife edge. Now it is roller. Follower stem. The roller rotates with the cam reducing the sliding motion by rolling action resulting in min See now this is rolling action. Previously when it was like this this was sliding action. This follower was sliding around the cam. Where? In order to minimize the wear now it is rolling action. This will be rolling whereas he here it was sliding. When this was rolling, this was a sliding, not rolling, because this was knife edge. Have a pointed end and roller followers are used. Roller followers have a roller at the end of the follower stem. The roller rotates with the cam, reducing the sliding motion by rolling action, resulting in minimal wear. Then we have the flat faced followers here. In the rolling action, what happens is the wear and tear will be less. Here, as the name suggests, the follower has a flat contact surface. This type of follower is used for quick motion, but it develops high surface tension in case of misalignment and deflection. For overcoming the disadvantage of the flat faced follower, spherical faced followers are used. Here, the contact area of the follower is in spherical shape, which results in lesser wear and lesser tension. Now, let's move on to the types of followers based on position. They are classified into two types, the inline follower and the offset follower. If the axis of the follower coincides with the center of the cam, then it is said to be the inline follower. See, if this axis of the follower coincides with the center of the cam, then it is called as in. Whereas if the axis of the follower is at an follower. offset from the center of the See, now it is offset. This is the center of the follow cam and uh, axis is here so axis comes here in this line center is here this is called as uh, second type offset follower anyhow don't worry there, there is no need of uh, 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 memorizing all these things just uh, listen the cam then it is said to be the offset follower in addition to all these Followers can be classified into two types based on the type of motion. If the motion of the follower is in a straight line, then it is said to be translating follower. But if the follower is pivoted, it will have oscillating motion and those followers are said to be oscillating followers. So that's it guys. With this, we've seen the different types of camps and followers. We'll meet up in another video said to be translated for the time being you just understand simple cam and follower that is this type which converts rotary motion in the shock to a reciprocating motion 
in the follower. This is the shaft which drives the cam which then transfers the motion to the follower. Follow. But if the follower is pivoted, Next, you have, for example, uh, this is the IC engine. Okay, for example, the cam and follower, what we have just seen in the video. Okay, next we have parallel shaft gears or any gears. Okay, that we will see now. Okay, see, this is the parallel shaft gears. You have two, you can have two gears here. Okay. See, this is called parallel gears, two gears, okay. They will be placed here, one here, another here. This will be driving, means motor will be connected here, okay. And load will be connected in this shaft, to this shaft. So, this is the driver and that is the driven or driver and follower. So, due to the change in the gear size, Okay, change in the gear size, speed increment or reduction will be there. So, this is a parallel gear drive system. It can also be intersecting gears. Here, parallel means the shaft of these two are in parallel. Okay, it can be intersecting. Here, the shafts are intersecting. See, this is shaft is like this, another shaft is like this. This is non-intersecting and non-parallel. See here, there is slightly oxide is there. It will not intersect and non-parallel. So, there are different types. Okay. See, this is an external gearing. Both the gears are one outside the other. Here, it is internal gearing. See, this is the one gear is inside the other. Okay, and this is called as rack and pinion, converting linear motion to rotary motion. If this is the driver and this is the follower, you have rotary to linear converter. If this is the driver and this is the follower driven, then you have linear to rotary converter. And you have different types of gears. Say straight gear, inclined gear, curved gear. Okay. So, accordingly, we have spur gear, helical gear, and bevel gear, spiral bevel gear. You can see here. Lots of types are there. Spur gear, helical gear, double helical gear. You can see here. Here you have. See, double helical gear, you can see here, in one gear you have two types, two inclinations, okay, double helical gear, bevel gear, okay, this is bevel gear, so all these types are there, okay, so, Cams and linkages we have just studied now, and then toothed belt or chain drive. Okay, let us see that. See, this is the belt drive. Okay, sometimes we have toothed belt, sometimes belt may not have teeth, sometimes belt may have teeth. Okay, that we will see later. Now, see, this is a toothed belt drive system. Okay. See, you can see here, there is teeth on the belt and the pulley. This is the pulley and this is the belt. Okay. You can see here, there is teeth. See, there is teeth here. Okay. Next, you have, say, this is, this has teeth. Okay, this has teeth, belt drive. Okay, and uh, 
Sometimes it may not have teeth. It, this does not have teeth. See, on the pulley, there is no teeth. So one is a driven pulley, another is driver pulley. Okay. If one is big and another is small, you have uh, speed uh, variation. Sometimes both may be of same size and we need to transfer motion from one shaft to another shaft. Sometimes it can be single belt or multi belt. You can see here. See, there are one, two, three, three belts are there. On the pulley, there are three grooves. These are called as groove, where the belt is fixed. So pulley, pulley shaft, groove, belt, or teethed belt. Toothed belt. Okay. Right. You can see here a chain drive now. Okay. See, this is chain drive. Chain drive is always toothed drive. It has tooth. It's called as sprocket. This is called as sprocket wheel. Okay. There are different types of sprockets. And this is called as chain, sprocket and chain. In uh, belt drive, we call it as pulley and belt. Okay. So, mechanical actuator means it can be anything like this. There can also be linkages. Okay. Linkages means it can be like this. See, this is linkage. Okay. You can see how a linkage is moving or transferring motion from one point to another. This is a fixed point. Okay. This is the pivot. Okay. Pivot means a joint. Okay. Which is free to uh, rotate. One part is free to rotate with the other. Okay. This is a fixed point. Okay. Now, if you apply force here, if you drive this uh, linkage, okay, this is called as link. One link, another link, another link. Okay. This is called as fixed link. Okay. And this is the say dri driving link and this is say driven link. We will discuss more about this in uh, later classes. two fixed points you have one two three four five links or rods okay See, this is called as slider, okay, through which the rod moves, okay. When this is rotated, okay, this uh, rod will force this rod to slide, okay, in the slider. 
Now here rotary motion, rotary motion here called as sliding motion. We have three members here, one, two, three members. See here we have a slider because in the inside of the pist uh, cylinder, this is a cylinder, this is the piston, this is the connecting rod and this is called as crank means the crank wheel okay and this is the crank shaft okay which will be fixed here when the crank crank shaft is rotated by motor or say any hydraulic turbine or uh, pneumatic turbine or anything or by human operator however it is okay sugar cane in case of sugar cane uh, milk uh, the machine milking machine sugarcane milking machine human may human being may be operating the here this one okay but there is no connecting rod it both are uh, both the wheels will be rotating that is different just uh, saying you about the crank okay now the, when the crank is rotated uh, the connecting rod oscillates okay which gives reciprocating motion to the piston this is called as piston okay here you will have piston ring etc sorry piston ring will be here that will be explained later in the class okay Okay, so next is what is called as, okay, that we will talk in the next class. More of this we will understand as you study. So, these are called as motion converters or transmitters. We can add word transmitters. Okay. 